Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Right, today we're going to be talking about Indiana Jones, the 2008 Hasbro Indiana Jones figures. Um, so, yeah, I know it's mutt, I know. So, what I'm going to do is going to do give you a rundown of the figures that did come out, and I'm going to show you which ones I have. So, to start off with, I'll show you the two that I've just picked up. So, over to me. So yes, um, <laughs> even though I did, certain, did buy from the same seller, I've got two figures in separate boxes. So let's open this one. Um, oh, that's a bit, of a bit of a ding there. I don't know if that's anything to do with Pappy, I don't think it is. So we've got Marion and the Cairo Henchman 2-pack, which is pretty good. Not so sure about uh, Marion's. We do have the monkey as well. I don't know if that's attached to her arm, but that's pretty cool if it is. Uh, it's got the frying pan and there's the henchman. That's pretty good. I'd like to get the uh, German Soldier 2 back. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Apart from that ding, um, and yeah, Hasbro was shocking back then. How come in the 70s and 80s, we could Sonic weld a bubble to a card and it'd still be there 40 years later, 40 odd years later. Um, they can do it on the top, so that's still attached, but they have to sell it to the back, the bubble onto the back of the card. And as we know, sell it doesn't last, it goes yellow and it drops off. But I'm gonna say, apart from that thing, it's not too bad, it's still attached to the card, so that's one. Um, why the I did pay double postage. I'm not bothered. Usually, when you get two items or more multiple items, as a seller, I would put them in the same box. They would they would fit in the same box. You know what I mean? They would they would have fitted. They would have fitted in the same box, and I'd have refunded, partial refunded some of the postage. That's what you do. Not send three different packages. So we double the chance of it going missing. Right, so what's this one? What's this one you're asking? It's Indy. It's Indy with the idol. Where's the glow star, Indy? I, 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 would, I am tempted to open these just to see what's in these boxes, but this is not obviously not going to get... Um, this is obviously not going to get opened. And again, there's a bit of a thing there. But there's a sticker on the bottom of it. Uh, they're kind of shocking out of these packages. I don't like it though. It does have the proper Indiana Jones on it. Yeah, so there. So that's those brand new ones. Let's have a look at the rest. Right then, so um, this is the Toy Collector Guide. Toy Collector's Guide. Um, I will link that in the in the description. Um, Indiana Jones Hasbro 2008 to 2011 Hasbro's first wave of figures features figures and accessories themed to Raiders of the Lost Ark the next wave belongs to the newest movie yeah I don't know how long old oh, this uh, website is getting under the crystal skull this was the largest in the Indiana Jones line uh, new with nine new figures and accessories a uh, line of 12 inch with a mix of Reds and K uh, Kingdom of Crystal Skull. The third and fourth wave figures were at the last crusade and Templar Doom respectively and included six figures in each wave. A final wave of six figures was released in 2011 and an exclusive San Diego Comic Con, which you can try and get those these days. So, I mean, what prompted me to do this video is if you saw my video on the book that just had just come out about Indiana Jones merchandise, it totally missed out. And it, it, it stopped before Crystal Skull. It stopped before these came out. So I really wanted to do this video as an addendum to that. You can go back and look at that book. I've looked at it myself. 
Um, for my information about Indiana Jones, I'm the bottom of the page for complete summary. Right, so 2008, Raiders of Lost Ark figures. The Raiders of Lost Ark was uh, actually the first wave released by Hasbro in 2008 due to familiar familiar. Yeah, due to that familiarity that collectors already had with the iconic movie. There are eight figures released to this wave in total, but six more were planned. Those are six were later released as a San Diego Comic Con exclusive called The Lost Wave. Right, so we've got Belloc and the Cairo Swordsman there. Let's uh, expand that a bit so you can you can actually see that. So we've um, it's ironic that we've got this um, in the current wave, the new wave, the 3.75 and the 6 inch. Um, yeah. The 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 arc block, shall we say. We haven't got this, the, the Cairo Swordsman yet, which I don't know why not. Um, I'm sure that is one of the things that sh we should be getting. If they are continuing the wave, uh, a lot of people think they may not be. So there's there's the I'm not going to go into the values. Come not um, we're not here for the values. Um, the Belloc is gets a staff fertility idol. Uh, came out in two thousand and eight. If you want to look at all this information, please pause it. I will show it for a bit. But you can also go to this website as well to look at it. Um, easily found on the secondary market for both these. Uh, notes new version of Belloc features in wearing his ceremonial robes outfit is it preferred to open with win all that and yeah the swordsman's got his sword funnily enough so we've got the German soldier which we still haven't got either which we would like and we've got the Indiana Jones with idol which you've just seen me open I do have that one which is pretty cool nice to have the, uh, the, the 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 sculpt's not brilliant but you know they're okay they're, they're okay i like them that's why i'm gonna i'm gonna try and collect them all so we've got dr jones with his idol um it tells you actually tells you what the hidden relic is actually inside the this these little boxes get you get a, a relic is um but, oh, that's yeah, the fertility, fertility idol and a terracotta warrior, which is a deep dive for Indiana Jones fans. Sankara stone, uh, temple carving. So I don't need to open that. I know what's in it now. I didn't. I thought they were random. I thought they were random. Uh, aside from the Disney issued figure, there was a brand new figure to the Indiana Jones family of action figures. The, the the India was the new version of the India fishing with this is rusty whip, it's rusty whip, a revolver. It might be a rusty revolver along with a golden idol. So you do get the idol, and you get the temple carving inside this little box. Um, Indian Jones with whip is um, like it's red. It is red as Lost Ark, so it is the Cairo one, and then you get Marion. The, in her Cairo outfit, it's funny. She always gets that that frying pan in every iteration of um, of the figure. I've got the two pack, as I've just seen. I would like to get a loose as well. She's got a sword as well. There, she's got a sword. Uh, yeah, she gets. A, she's got a sword in this as well. So this is exactly same as a single pack, but. Um, there you go there you go um so the hidden relic is grail tablet which would be nice and staff of raw headpiece that's ironic isn't it yeah oh do you get uh no you don't get them with the two packs ah oh, dear uh monkey man which is another figure that we do need and Salah. um these this first first wave i think they're all easily found on the market i don't know which market not not cairo market um nurhachi's urn and terracotta horse so yeah um monkey man and Salah. so these are all raiders obviously and things we actually do could do with getting in the 
and they couldn't land. So down to Temple of Doom, again 2008, we've got the the, um, the Thuggy Guard, the Temple Guard. With the funny that we didn't get the, um, I think we get it later, didn't we, in, this, in the second wave of the, uh, I know this is Pat Roach, so I'm just thinking about the, the German mechanic. Uh, there's the Indy from Temple of Doom, which is probably one of my favourite. I, I'm, I'm waiting to get that from Hasbro, the six inch from Hasbro. So this second wave is still, I uh, can still be found at a fair price. I don't know when this is, uh, when this, I can't remember when this was updated. So you get a Spartan helmet and an Eastern, Easter Island statue. Mola Ram as well, which I don't, I doubt if he could, uh, he can try and find it. Uh, tough to find on the second, I would have thought so. It's definitely a figure that we do need in this new wave, definitely. But um, it comes with the Chinese lion. But yeah, Mola Ram is probably. Uh, would you say? I know Belloc's a good body, but in Mola Ram back then, Belloc? I quite like Mola Ram. Uh, so we've got Short Round there. Just got him on the six inch version. It's really good. Really good. And uh, Temple Guard. Again, I think Short Round would be quite hard to find. Tough to find, yes. Uh, can be found on a fair price for the uh, the Temple Guard, an Obi statue and a sundial in the little boxes. Willie Scott uh, should be not too bad to find. She comes with the Philosopher's Stone, which is actually um, in one of the books. So that's pretty good. They actually knew what they were doing back then, sort of. Uh, can still be found at a, 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 a fair price. Well, it's a spare price a fair price so Willie there nice nice to find I am I am I am looking for them all um the two that I've just got are from eBay I found those other ones these are the ones crystal skull ones in uh, Blackpool so we're going on to the last crusade uh, Colonel Vogel and Elsa I'd like to get the Elsa I can't wait till that comes out in the Hasbro um six inch uh, Hidden Relic is a fake grail. I think she's holding the fake grail, isn't she? So it's... it's mm. Accessories Holy Grail. But that looks like the fake grail to me. It might, I might be wrong. Um, and his Hidden Relic is Battle Axe of Leif Erikson. I think that's a book in it from a book as well. I need to get out of the books. I need to get over the novels. But yeah... These are they are these are fantastic figures. I want to get them all all um, in the package as well. Um, can be found at a fair price, moderately, moderately easy to find. Okay, so I'm going to be looking for these. Um, Doctor Henry Jones, always a good figure. Comes with his uh, his brawling his briefcase. Comes with a gun as well. Hmm. I suppose he did have one in the tank, didn't he? Yeah. Moderately easy to find. Hidden relic is a holy grail. So you're getting more than one holy grails. Uh, the Grail Knight is there, with, and the Indy with machine gun with his uh, his tie on as well. Those are easy to find and easy to find. Moderately easy to find. Uh, hidden relic is a shield, and hidden relic African mask. Uh, Young India as well. Uh, I have seen that for sale. I'd be interested in getting that. That looks like a really good figure to me. Um, e moderately easy to find. It comes with Costa Corrado as well. That's that's good as well. So we're going on to the Crystal Skull figures, which I do have some of these. The Cemetery Warrior and the Colonel. The Colonel Zavenshinko. Zavenshinko. <laughs> <laughs> Funeral Mask and a Chalice of Kali. Oh, the Chalice of Kali. That's quite an uh, interesting thing to get. Mm. Easily found. Moderately easy to find on those. Um, the India with Launcher I do have as well. It's just... There we go. Um, we do have that. Pretty good. I like that. I like that. And these, these, 
are in pretty good condition. They're really good condition. Uh, some are like the cards bending or anything like that, but I just feel that they did they do a lot. I mean, the, the indie there and the bubble. I, it is stuck on with sellotape, which I don't like. But yeah, I just think that the artwork is pretty good and the colours are good and it's just, just a nice card back to have. So this indie with, with launcher is a uh, dagger of... Atreus is that the dagger that um, pierced Jesus I think it could be yeah it's the thing that that was in Dial of Destiny wasn't it it was a fake easily found in the secondary market yeah because I've got it <laughs> I think I got that in Blackpool last year yeah I think I did so we've got Indy with Whip and the um, the Crystal Skull I do have that loose Thank you to Kieran, and it's, it's down here. Um, Arena, I do have. I could do with getting a list of these and just crossing them off. So we do have that one. So it's not a lot. There isn't a lot, is there really? Um, easy to find. Easy to find. The Eye of the Peacock from Temple of Doom and a skull of Akator. Akator? Crystal Skull of Akator. And I don't know what that is. I think that is from uh, a game, was it? I think it was. Or it could be from actually from the um, the aforementioned Philosopher's Stone book. There's a lot of Crystal Skulls in <laughs> So, um, Muck Williams with Snake. There you go. I got that one. I've got I've got two. I've got one, two different colours. And there is Muck Williams with sword. There you go. I don't know why it's got a yellow sticker on there. But uh, it's fair enough. Fair enough. And the Russian Russian soldier, which I, I do have as well. So I've got quite a few, to be honest with you, thinking about it, looking at these. Um, I think these are going to be easy to find. Spear of Destiny. That is this, yeah, the spear. Is it the Spear of Destiny that is the one that pierced Christ? I think it was. I need to brush up on these things. I can, of Asiris, I'm, I'm butchering these names. I know, I know. Model easy, easily found. Um, Uga Warrior, I've never seen that. I'm not even on eBay or anything. I don't know, it's probably easy to find. Uh, easily found, yeah. Uh, it comes with the nation, Arrowhead. I wanna get, I would like to get, I wanna keep these on card, but I'd like to get all the, the artifacts as well. So these exclusive figures that, they weren't selling really well, these figures weren't selling really well. So they put these exclusive figures out at San Diego Comic Con. As we released two different mail order exclusives in the Jones line in 2008. Yeah, they, they did. They uh, did. That, I think, was that one of the last times they did the mail, mail away exclusives? I wish they'd bring that back. Uh, I know they're doing the, um, the artifact thing, but I don't know. One of them, the Crystal Skeleton from the Throne figures, I would like to get hold of that. Uh, 3.75 is the little dark of covenant accessory of the 12 inch line, which, oh, can you imagine that? Can the price on the market and the yeah the crystal skull um kind of the, the alien interdimensional being what you want to call it 75 dollars but that for the 12 inch line wow um tough to find on the secondary market and that is tough to find on the secondary market you will be there will be because they are the mail mail ways mail order middleware things <sighs> it would be really nice to get those uh, so yeah what I was talking about is a lost wave the San Diego exclusives as we plan to release in, uh, additional figures for Raiders Lost Ark series since the, the movie was most uh, movie goers familiar with but never got a chance due to the faded sales causing the line to end in Christmas of 2008 so it, even though it did go to 2011 it did 
fade away 2008 these six original figures were later released in 2011 at san diego's comic con exclusive box set the set is tough to find and usually fetches high prices on the secondary market um so the lost wave it comes in this box the just the box 75 125 and these are the figures um hopefully it will show you yes there we go so there's the there's a German mechanic uh aforementioned uh, German mechanic um very tough to find on the secondary market of course so we've got German mechanic we've got indie with torch it's, it's probably the same indie but it's got the fertility channel but it's got a sort it's got an extra torch you know what that's more like um you don't get extra bits with this but these they're tough they're all tough to find so german mechanic indie indian german uniform sure i've seen that maybe not maybe not. <laughs> um yeah it's, it's, they're, they're all scarce marion in the dress and satipo i would love to get a satipo figure ah so yeah these um stupos are part of the lost wave these are all the lost wave and totes obviously yeah because there wasn't a tote earlier on and it does get the extra melty face so yeah this is like one hell of a excuse upon holy grail it's a one hell of a holy grail um the deluxe figures obviously the two packs i have got one of the two packs um the market uh, cairo cairo market thugs the german soldiers i've seen and i've seen those i like to get hold of those these these two packs oh yeah moderately easy to find yeah they're not hard to find at all and again you don't get anything with them there's a german on the bike i have never seen never seen that i bet that's hard easy to find right so anybody can find that for me um <laughs> i keep looking i keep looking india with the horse i do have it loose i have that loose still 20 to 30 with you know loose uh moderately easy to find pretty cool um and map, map room india with the with the arc is easy to find as well and temple pitfall wow even know about that one easy to find as well i'll have to i'll have to look for that one so we've got um temple trap indie with the with the plinth that we've just got six inch we've already got the indian the, the idol they've just give us a, a bag of sand and a plinth but there's the there's the there's the uh, two pack that i do have and obviously they're going to be easy to find so um we've got mutt williams on a motorcycle um probably th the probably loads are thrown away so it just easy to find but you never know you never know multi-packs um you did get the cairo ambush these are pretty cool i have seen somebody selling these um obviously the crystal skull is a bit cheaper than the i would like to get that that's pretty cool you've got a diorama in a box you don't have to get them out it's really really good easy to find easy to find um oh this multi-pack was set was exclusive to target in 2008 yeah those were target i don't know if um the others were exclusives and the um that is that's a brilliant one last crusade on the tank look at that that's that is really good um Jenna Jones, Dr. Henry Jones, Colonel Virgil, two German soldiers, weapons, moderately easy to find. So I am going to be looking for these. Uh, DVD packs, I've never seen those. They were only at Walmart. I'm not really looking for those. Um, I don't know if they're easy to find. Tough to find on the secondary market. It can still be found and getting tougher each year. So yeah, I'm not really bothered about those. The play sets, I've seen those. I would, I would like to get the play sets um 2008 easily found as a career mark yeah it's um 
even if it's loose i'm not really bothered about the box i'd like i would like to find that um to, to get it found get, get it found on in box though you get the figures with it as well so that'd be pretty good um the vehicles obviously the truck there's a fabric truck or oh, there's a plastic truck and i have the plastic truck loose 40 to 6 i have the plastic truck i would like to try and find the fabric truck though that um can be tough to find so yeah i have seen i've seen that box though um more that box the plastic one the fabric but you know it's nice to have i always that is my favorite scene of all all movies ever um so i always wanted that always since i was a kid and i've got one now and i love it but it is it's a it's not the vintage one it's a this hasbro one so but i'm not bothered can be tough to find in the secondary market apparently um i've got it loose a troop car is very easy to find very easy to find can be tough to find this that, that is really easy to find i can i can find that for about 15 pound on on ebay i haven't got it yet um so we've got the jungle cutter which i do have here i got this for 10 pound with with the with the figure in down at cosmic toys thank you gareth there we go pretty cool to have so i've got a couple of vehicles i've got a horse i've got more than a more than i mean it's loose i do want to get them boxed i'm not bothered both about the vehicles it's like the star wars i'm more bothered about all the way around with the star wars it's weird right the 12 inch figures um we've got the carrier swordsman um the colonel let's say his name again the german officer um in the in the german outfit which i, I would like i wouldn't mind getting that actually uh tough to find easy to find tough to find tough to find indie with whip sounds is easily found and i do have that that the the thing that gets me with this right he's got a bag on that one but he's got no bag where's his bag i'm looking for a, i'm looking for a bag for <laughs> It just say uh, that uh, satchel there. Satchel, it's a satchel. Call it a satchel, and it doesn't have one on this one. So they're easily found. Good, they got quite good phrases. Mutt Williams are quite easy to find as well. Easily found. Oh, that one's tough to find, but that one's easy to find. I'm, I'm sure I can see. I can find both of those. So there we go. When George Lucas phone announced that he was going to reunite old gang with another engine and Jones movie, I'm not going to read that. You can read that. You can. I'll slowly scroll that down if you want to read that. Um, we 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 do know what what happened. So uh, we're talking about the the toys, not the not the film. <laughs> um, there we go. The first wave hit retail in 2008 of themed uh, Rachel Stark. And total eight figures. We've already been that through that. Um, we've been through them all, so there's no point talking about it. I mean, if you can, if you want, you can, you can um, peruse at your leisure. The packaging for that as well line of Indiana Jones figures was eye catching. It certainly is. That's what I was just saying. Yeah, the classic Indiana Jones style, which is iconic Indiana Jones logo across the top of the blister pack. There we go there 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 if you didn't know <laughs> a classic illustration framed archaeologist there which I, I already said pretty good Hasbro chose an earthy look looking at brown yellow theme co color and basic tone of the card which the majority of the card is brown in the area behind the figure is yellow with the map behind it um the, the card figures use a traditional blister uh, pack bubble but as a die cut at the top left to give it a unique appearance um if i was going to record a video about this i would read all that but uh, you can read that i'm not gonna 
stop you from reading that you can pause it and read it it's uh, yeah and we're going <laughs> that's bro card back that's what the card back looks like yeah we know we're seeing it and there's a mr potato head which i've not seen don't think i've ever seen that and there's the displays toy fair 2008 display and retail packaging so there we go I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed that little look on um, Indiana Jones 2008 Hasbro. I just wanted to keep you up to date after that uh, book we didn't show them. So if you're out out there, you see these, pick them up. They're not they're not very expensive. Uh, if there's any that I haven't got, please let me know. So there we go. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I really do. Look, I've got me even got me Indiana Jones t-shirt on. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. May the toys be with you. See that cap over there? Get your hand off my penis!